And we'll be taking you through what to expect. We'll be hearing from some of our players. But this is the groove on the Super Morning Show. It's brought to you by Stambik Bank moving forward. If you enjoy any music on the Super Morning Show, you need to thank DJ Obete. Yes, um, so the, the mystery of DJ Obete is he doesn't know his level. His level knows him. <laughs> My level, <girl. laughs> Join us tonight at the Labadi Beach Hotel as we have the happy hour after, uh, immediately after the commentary of the game between Egypt and Zimbabwe. I'm bringing George and Gary in a moment, but to, 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 to top petroleum, pardon me, is continuously innovating and delivering better energy solutions that bring value to its cherished customers. Introducing a new addition to the Total Quartz range, the Quartz 9000 Future GFI 20 a fully synthetic fuel economy engine oil, specially formulated with age resistance technology ART for the latest generation engines that require zero W20 or a viscosity grade in its class. The Quartz 9000 Future GFI 20 reduces your fuel consumption increases your oil change interval, ensures excellent engine protection and cleanliness, protects emission control systems and reduces the release of harmful emissions into the environment. The Total Quartz 9000 Future GFI 20 delivers beyond performance. Total Quartz Engine Oil, keep your engine younger for longer. What a lovely story! And Big Stories, of course, is brought to you by Guarantee Trust Bank. Wouldn't you rather bank with us? And Photophone, the future is exciting. You ready? Latex Foam, your partner for life. So here's just a sneak peek of the excitement you can expect tonight. If you've been paying attention to the Joy Afcon podcast, then this is a very, very familiar sound to you. And like I was telling George earlier, it's day zero of the Joy Afcon countdown and day one of the Afcon 2019. Now, of course, at Joy Sports, we have you covered. And our man in Egypt, Benedict Ousu, caught up with some players of the Black Stars during their training camp. First, we hear from the defender Jonathan Mensa as he reacts to concerns about the inability of the team to put the ball behind the net in two friendly matches against Namibia and South Africa. I don't think so because um, there's a preparation game and it's to see the tactical stuff that we can implement in the tournament and um, like physically also. So, you know, the coaches are watching some things they want to see. So. We're still working on, on our um, attacking uh, phase and you know uh, defensive phase as well, but the goals will come start of the tournament. And since we qualified, the, um, we have been discussing about the AFCON, how we we'll make it through and to achieve what we all want as a Ghanaian. Uh, so, uh, like I said, we are on everything and everything that we'll do to achieve our aim, inshallah, we'll do it. What would it mean to you personally if you're able to win this AFCON for Ghana? I think, um, for me, I'm looking for myself, yeah. I'm, like family and my fans over there. At this point, can you confidently say that we are ready to go for the tournament? Inshallah, we are really, really ready. And what I've seen in the camp, during training, and everything shows that we are ready. Just that we can't talk much mm. unless we work. You just said Black Stars midfielder Mubarak Wakaso earlier. There was Jonathan Mensah, that's defender. Now, you may have seen all the funny video skits from the camp of the Black Stars on social media. What exactly is behind it? Striker Asamojan offers some answers. My prayer is to make sure we do very, very well and then we can go through the group stage and then we see Egypt. This season has been great. Um, everybody is coping, you know, as usual. Um, I'm the one cracking jokes for everybody to to laugh, you know, just to forget uh, the pressure on us because although we joke here, but there is huge pressure on in the players. So sometimes I try to take the player's mind off the game a bit to just to relax, you know. So you, if you can see, sometimes I try to crack jokes for the players to, to laugh, just to feel at home, you know not thinking about just football football sometimes when you do that it puts pressure you know so 
-hmm. Apart from that, the, the, the unity is very, very good. We share ideas. You know, sometimes the young ones, if they need something, they come to the experienced ones, we help them. You know, so everything is going well as planned. You know, and we are very, very happy for that. As I said, this camp has been a, one of the best camps. You know, people didn't expect that, but everything is moving out well. And that's the general captain, Asamoa Jan. Now, let's hear from the head coach of the team, Kwesi Apia, who is clear and confident about the ambition of the team going into the tournament. You see, um, as a coach, and as a Ghanaian, since we all know that, you know, it's been years that we won the cup. You know, our vision, everything within us is to go out there and uh, try and win the cup. That, that is the mentality of every Ghanaian. Mm. So, uh, and all the players are aware of the situation. So, uh, that's why I said we'll go out there, give out all our best, you know, uh, and uh, we're praying that the Lord blesses what is on our hearts, you know, so that all Ghanaians will be happy. At this point, uh, there are so many Ghanaians watching you. You have so many football-loving fans listening to you as well. I mean, what, what will be your message to them uh, going into the tournament? My message to them is um, this is uh, Ghana Blasters going out there for war. It's about Ghana. No, it's not about any other country but our motherland. So every single Ghanaian, irrespective of you know, your affiliations, mm. you know, each and every one should put his total support and prayers behind the team. And I believe that it's the flag of Ghana that is going to be raised. It's not about individuals, it's not about anybody, but it's about Ghana. So be sure every, anything that we can do to support the team. We need to do and make sure. Uh, we also not let them down. Okay. We go out there, fight, and make sure uh, what they all praying for, you know, will be achieved. Black Stars coach Chris Yapia speaking to Benedict also of Joy Sports. There now, Benedict himself will be joining us on the phone lines in just a moment. But Gary, um, are we ready for this war? As Coach Chris Yapia describes it. You mean Black Stars? Yes. Well, I mean. Um We've been fortunate through Benedict to follow the, the team in, in Dubai. And the vibe you get even on, on other stations, so maybe it's not just Joy FM, on other stations, television, radio, on social media in particular, you know, there are some Ajan skits just simply killed you, the, 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 the vibe about any negativity in okay. camp. Okay. There are a few people who are even saying that, hey, the way these guys are happy, are they even concentrating, you know? <laughs> and, and, and for me, it's fortunate that we've moved from there more extreme spectrum of team division okay. that was the talking point a couple of weeks ago to the fact that people have been asking hey are these guys not you know over enjoying themselves okay. i think that is good this morning they've just released a picture of a squad picture of themselves in the plane uh leaving dubai to what do you call it egypt mm -hmm. to their camping base mm -hmm. in and they were all in a huddle and they took that squad photo thomas Pate also released a photo on instagram uh, showing himself in a selfie with a couple of the guys as well so mentally i think that they are fine footballistically as my manager as Venga likes to say <laughs> footballistically that's another matter um one of the players just spoke you know and he just yeah. spoke about why they are not scoring so i think it's doable against benin it's doable Cameroon, Guinea-Bissau. I have no doubt that we'll go out of the group. I have no doubt that we'll go out of you the see, group. You see, but George, yes. the expectation is not really to go out of the group because in the past four or five hours, what, what, we've been to the what, One step at a time. I think. No, 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 no. no yeah, I, I understand. I, yeah. But if we are taking it one step at a time, then we need to take it a step beyond the semis at least. George. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 but, yeah. But, but for now, they'll have to deal with what's in front of them. And that's very important. That's right. Because of how tricky this tournament can be, mm. you cannot start thinking about the semi-finals and what you will do to win the trophy when we are about to kick a ball because it's it, it the, the tournament has a lot of unknown teams it's got unknown players and the navigation will just be tricky you know so we need to take it easy yeah top your group then you think about the round, round of 16, 16 then you think about the quarterfinal mm, mm, mm. when you are in the semi-final you can begin to plot yeah but until you are there you have to take it easy you know now, what I mean? for now the first thing is get the win over benin convincing win yeah. it gives you the confidence lift the mood and lift the mood and continue from there you know there's always that team that bogey team that enters a tournament and decides to just cause trouble yeah it can yes. go as far back as croatia and france 98 yeah. 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 yeah exactly and i don't know with our striking abilities and um, being called into question gary 
but people forget that historically at least since 2006 ish our midfield has always been our most prolific source of goals right you know so yeah no, no, we have but, strikers who must score but we got the goals yeah that's what i'm saying exactly so, but it's two friendlies it's in, two yeah yeah it's two friendlies <laughs> what about morocco who are heavy favorites who have also faltered in their pre-tournament you know um preparations what about zimbabwe who nearly boycotted the plane yesterday you yeah. know the CAF regulation said that you had to be in egypt by uh, midnight before your game you have to be in Egypt like midnight before okay. the, the, the game. Okay. So Zimbabwe threatened that they were not implaining if their bonuses are not reviewed yesterday yeah. evening. Yesterday. Interesting. Y- Interesting. You get my point. Interesting. Cameroon also have done the same. They've held their team hostage, but I, I hear it's been sorted as well. Okay. So it's one step at a time. I mean, that's what all I want to say. I think that people feel that this whole talk about Christian Pia said this is the most peaceful camp he's seen. Asamajan has said same. Didi Ayu has said same. People think that na, na peace we go chop. Look for the Black Stars. If you have followed the team, it's a big big deal. I will take you back to World Cup 2010. Yeah. When France could not find that equilibrium and yeah. they left the tournament without scoring a goal. Ayo. It was a shock. They were defending champions. Not be me. Roman Dominic was the coach. Yeah. And he yeah. famously said that he he consulted the stars and the horoscopes <laughs> and even the stars were not in their <laughs> aligned in their anyway, favor. Anyway. You Anyway, guys, let's go now to Egypt. Benedict Osu is on the line from Ismaila, where the Black Stars will be based. Hey, Benedict. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. Hey, hey. Uh, Allah, hey. Allah. Ben, 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 ben Egypt. Ben Dubai. <laughs> ben <laughs> Egypt. Ben Dubai. Ben Cairo. I think since Ben has been to UAE <laughs> and Egypt, <laughs> it's, it's just <laughs> fair <laughs> to call you Malam, Ben. <laughs> ben, what have you... Now Ben is smiler. So I like it out. Ben is smiler. Okay, in that case, Ben is smiler. What were your observations while you were Ben Dubai with the team? <laughs> yeah man. Well, uh, you know, uh before I got to Dubai, the team had been there for two weeks and you know, went no, they had been there for a week and then we went uh, for the second week of training as well as uh, to watch the other, uh, the, their final pre tournament game that's uh, against South Africa. I mean, I had the opportunity to watch uh, five of their training sessions and also a friendly game. And Daniel, in, in terms of everything that is done, we can only be hopeful uh, coming into this tournament. I mean, Coach Christia Pia named a 22 man team. And for me, yeah, when I got to, uh, to Dubai, because it was the day after he had named the final 22 man team. So that was just kickstarting. Yeah training sessions after the five players had left camp. And you could see that oh, everybody that got the opportunity to be there, I'm talking about the team mm-hmm. players, wanted to give their best, wanted to show the coach that, yes, this is the reason why you kept me here, and this is the reason why we are here, and this is what we have to do going into the tournament. They trained very, very well. We did two training sessions before the South African game. In that South African game, he, he gave us an idea of how things are going to look like in this tournament. I'm talking mm. about a possible starting lineup. I mean, you look at the players that played. You talk of Richard Ofori, you talk of Andy Adam, Lima, Benyeno, and the uh, center backs of John Boy, Kasim Nuhun, Kujia Samoa, deputy captain in midfield, as well as Thomas Party, Andrea Yu, and then Thomas Japon. You, you have Jordan Ayu, his brother, as well. And of course, in that game, they created so many chances, but yet couldn't score. Okay, so the why then? was you played first game against Namibia, you couldn't score, you played against South Africa, no goals. So what are, how are you going to deal with this situation going into the tournament? Because at the Africa Cup of Nations, you're not going to go to the next one drawing. You have to score goals and you have to you know, get points before you mm. get to the next stage. Mm. Coach mm. PCRP, I mentioned that is a major worry. And for them, they, they were going to work uh, towards that. And from there, the, all the training sessions that they had, you could see that was just towards one thing. It was just towards getting in goals and you know the last training session i watched before leaving for egypt it was just about that and coach bishapia is likely to surprise most of us you know especially with respect to the starting lineup in our first interesting game. it could be it could be that we will not even play with a recognized striker but we will have a like for life person who you know we are used to in midfield striking because i mean after Doing that, you realize that 
those people were scoring a lot more goals. And it will be very, very interesting. So we just have to wait and see what happens. Mm, 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 mm. We are waiting and seeing indeed. We are waiting and seeing indeed. It's about uh, three minutes to the top of the hour here on the Super Morning Show. Enjoy 99.7 FM. I am Daniel Dazi. On the phone with us is Benedict Osu, who is on the line from Ismaila in Egypt, where the Black Stars of Ghana will be based. Today is the first day of the Total AFCON 2019. I'm talking about the Africa Cup of Nations, and we are building up to that uh, glorious tournament with our own analysis of what to expect and what to do in the studio with me is gary l smith and george adu jr you can call it an extended version of the joy sports center finally benedict you really touched on an issue i wanted to look at which is what are the coaches striking options now that we know uh, that our firepower in front may be limited from what you observed who are those players that we could be counting on to bang in the goals well daniel of course i mean you, you have jordan and you you have a summer Jan. Uh, you also have uh, the new guy, Kwabno Uso, as well as uh, another new boy, Khaled Kuban. We also have Khaled Kuban dazzled us in a game against Kenya in Ghana, as well as uh, Mauritius. He played two games and scored uh, two goals. Kwabno Uso was with the under 23 team, scored so many goals in their qualifiers. At club level at Salamanca, he's one of the, he was one of their top players before the season ended. As someone done before joining, this team had scored some goals with his club. That's key series for Jordan and you, despite not. You know, getting much playing time at Crystal Palace last season. We all know what he can do. At the last one, I mean, Jordan was one of our best players. So, I mean, with, in, with, with these four strikers, you definitely will know and always will, can be rest assured that Kush Kisiapia will give one of them the chance. But not forgetting, we also have attacking midfielders that can always shoot and score. Look at Thomas Party. The amazing goals he scored at Atletico Madrid last year. Even in the Black Stars, he has scored three more goals long wing goals like that. Andrea Ayu is also one person who is very good when it comes to the head. You also have someone like uh, Kujia Samaya, as I mentioned earlier. You know, at training, he made these players, Andrea Ayu, Christian Achu, Kujia mm. Samoa, Thomas Partey, you know, practice the shooting outside the box. So what it mm. means is that if you're not going to get the goals from the main strikers, the attacking midfielders, will be there to bang in the goals. Mm, definitely, definitely. Thank you very much, Benedict Osudankwa, or Benedict Ismaila, as we have christened him for joining us. Expect more from him um, as we uh, look at the games that we are going to go ahead with on the Super Morning Show. Now, uh, social media messages on the Super Morning Show are brought to you by Echo Bank, the Pan-African Bank, and Telesol 4G Just a Touch. If you're looking for a dependable internet service to meet and suit your needs, Telesol offers the fastest internet experience on 4G in the country with coverage in Accra, Tema, Hoko, Fredi, Atakrade, and Bolgatanga. For the youth, Telesol has Telesol Wave Bundles designed to cater for youth lifestyle starting from as low as 2 cities, 50 pesos. They also have 4G internet service to meet business home and on-the-go needs. This is 4G data not only on your phone and handheld devices but also extended for use in offices and homes. Telesol also has fiber broadband services for homes and offices at affordable rates with varied speeds, unlimited and bundled data options. If you live at airports or residential area, Laboni, Rich Cantonments, Jolu, and other locations, just call 0303 975 342 or 344 or send an email to inquiry at telesol4g.com. They'll tell you if you are available, your their service availability in your area. I mean, Telesol, just a touch. We want to wrap up with this conversation now. A lot more will be said on your super station, of course, before tonight. But, George, in the first place, so let's let's go to the other teams mm. now. Let's widen our, mm. our angler field of view. Um, Apart from Ghana, which teams are you looking at? Uh, Ghana no favourites, unfortunately. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean you can't win the trophy. I think Egypt um, are favourites playing at home. They've won it at home a number of times. Mm -hmm. We've got Senegal, who I think are the most informed team. The only thing is, can they translate their club performances and the great players they've got, the quality they've got into proper you know, performances at the Africa Cup of Nations? I think they have learnt a lot from what happened to them last Africa Cup of Nations against Cameroon. They should have learned a lot the from final. that in the air. That was a very, very important one. When we were knocked out in the quarterfinal, that's how Cameroon went all the way to win 2017. So that's another one there. I think Morocco is also another good team looking like they can come out and do it. And the usual suspects are always around the Cameroon, the Nigeria, the mm. Tunisians. Mm. They'll be hoping to make a lot. I think we should watch out for the North African opposition because they look like they enjoy playing up 
up north and it will be interesting from, from where I sit. Great. So if you are looking at the paper, then you are looking like a Senegal Egypt final or a Senegal Morocco final. Interesting. But it's not the paper that rules at the end of the day. Never. It's never the paper that rules. Gary, I would ask you to comment on the players to look out for. <coughs> um, who are those stars that we expect to shine this Afghan? Well, from um, your own, your own Mohamed Salah. When I say your own, <laughs> yes, I mean Liverpool's <laughs> own, the, the Egyptian king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, Mohamed Salah is a player to look out for. Um, from the Black Stars, this may be the time. Actually, not the captain Andre Ayu, not a Samwajan. Those are known quantities. But You're this may Thomas Partey, yes, you? this yeah. may be the time for him to elevate himself to to that pedestal as well. From Nigeria, they've got um, Odion Igalo, who mm-hmm. was the outright top scorer in the qualifiers mm-hmm. with seven goals so you should look out for him as well they've got a guy from Villarreal who is only 20 years wow. Samuel Chukweze let's foot that guy so good he's so good that there was a battle between the Super Eagles that the senior national team mm-hmm. and the under 20 team oh. who were going for the under 20 World Cup because okay. they also wanted him okay. and then eventually they decided that he was more important to the Super Eagles than to the under 20 team so he's with the super eagles mm-hmm. in in egypt right now there are 24 teams so the players are are, are, so, are, many. are, are mm-hmm. so many but yeah, these are just the some of the standout ones nicolas pepe or nicola pepe he's ivorian mm-hmm. um he plays for lille he had a standout season for them you know my problem with la Côte d'ivoire what they've always had a star started school well, about the last time they won you know so they broke that duck yeah but look at how long i mean look we had Holland and Spain mm-hmm. fighting over Perinal and Archives on some Spain <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see. So, I mean, there's always that el- element of should I give my heart to them or should I just go to the people who are more known So, to? unfortunately, um, for them, mm-hmm. or fortunately, unfortunately, that generation that was expected to win so much won in 2015. Mm. But, of course, that was after Drogba left. Immediately, exactly. he left and then Yaya Thierry won the African Cup exactly. of Nations. So, this team actually is is, it's not that it's not star started, but they are at level lower than that that big team we saw as okay. well. So we should look out for players like Nicola Pepe and Frank Kessie, obviously, who plays for AC Milan. Sadio Mane is a player you should look out of for, course, of obviously. Course. And then in the Champions League, in the commentaries, you remember we mentioned Hakim Ziyech a yes, lot. Yes, He's yes. also playing for Morocco. He will be a key player. And um, from Algeria, they've got a guy called Ismail Benasser. Mm-hmm. His name means praise. Wow. Yeah, his name like is him already. <laughs> Yeah, we've got several of those stories. In tonight's commentaries, when Zimbabwe are playing, um, one of the players is actually a pastor by trade at the, I've forgotten the name of the church, but his head pastor was one of the benefactors of the Zimbabwean national team. They've got another player who only last year was a member of the Zimbabwe national basketball team. And he's so good at both basketball and football, and he had to choose, so he has chosen to you play. You know, Michael Jordan left basketball, went to win baseball, yeah. came back to basketball yeah. to win. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not strange at all. Yeah. So, and Usain Bolt wants to play soccer now. So. Well, yeah, he's been doing his bit here and there <laughs> as well. So, players to watch. Andre Onana of Cameroon, okay. their goalkeeper, who is a goalkeeper yeah. for Ajax Amsterdam. Yeah. Senegal, it will be a travesty if I don't mention somebody from there apart from Sadio Mane. He'll be the standout best player, mm-hmm. but the player we should look out for is called... Kalidu Kulibali. He plays for Napoli. Okay. And he's a defender. Fantastic guy. You know what? It's always a mistake when you ask Gary to give you statistics because he'll just spam you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You. I like that. Thank you so much, Gary Elspeth, for Thank joining Thank you. Us. Quick mention that mm-hmm. our Instagram is popping melanin. Okay. So it's Joy Sports GH, Joy Sports GH on Instagram, and just use the Joy Afcon hashtag. Mm-hmm. You'll get us and all our content on Instagram and Twitter. We day for you. That's what we are. Okay, so Gary, don't leave now because I want to open the phone lines. Okay. How confident are you about the chances of the Black Stars? 0302 and, Exactly, which is why I want Gary to stay. I'm not the sports guy. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions at all about our squad as well, you can call in and ask. 244 0302 Now, before my first caller comes in, the days of making payments with cash are truly over. Guarantee Trust Bank Ghana Limited introduces a groundbreaking way to pay mobile money payments on GT Bank POS devices. Now, you can make payments for your goods and services via MTN Mobile Money, Vodafone Cash, Tigo Cash, or Airtel Money on any GT Bank POS. Wondering how? It's simple. 
at the payment point opts to pay with mobile money on a GT Bank POS device. Provide the merchant with your phone number and a payment alert authenticated on the GT Bank POS device will be sent to your phone. Um, authorize the transaction on your app with your PIN and voila, the merchant receives the cash instantly. Making payments just got more exciting. Pay effortlessly and conveniently with mobile money on GT Bank POS devices today. Businesses, shop owners and merchants should contact 0504-100-282 for their GT Bank POS devices. Guarantee Trust Bank, wouldn't you rather bank with us? Anoche is on the line from Sotium. Good morning, Anoche. Yeah, good morning, Dan. And good. I hope you guys are doing well. We are blessed. We are blessed. So what are our chances? Yeah, I believe that... Uh Looking at all the initiatives now, the black man can do a surprise. The most important thing is that. Anosha, I'm losing you. Uh, please reposition yourself and try calling again. I'm going to go to Tema now, where Israel is on the line. Good morning, Israel. Hello, good morning. Great. Israel, what are our chances? Oh, in fact, if it, if it, the Ghana Blaster, some of us, we are looking them as an underdog, but I hope they can go far. God will maybe they will bring the cup to Ghana. I hope they bring the cup as well. Trust me, it will be a glorious moment. 0302-216-541-0244-340-437. Joe is on the line from Tudu. Good morning, Joe. Uh, good morning, uh, my friend. For the Brass, I don't see that. They don't have any chance. Black Ghana cannot do anything because we're supporting them all these years. They are not giving us anything. Joe, I, I, I feel the frustration so, in your so voice. So they, they should ask for me. They, I don't, I don't have even a single support for Ghana. Because the last time we supported them against Cote d'Ivoire, two penalties were saved, but we couldn't win the cup. So maybe hmm. I don't have support for the last time. Thank I you feel very your much. pain, Joe. Thanks for calling. George is on the line for Sakaman. Good morning, George. Hello, good morning. Have you also lost hope for Ghana? Tell more than lost hope. Wow. We don't deserve it. I think Senegal, Cameroon, and Egypt. Interesting, interesting. Thank you very much. But would you put Ghana in as a fourth uh, uh, team in the semi-finals at least? I doubt it. You doubt it? Interesting. I doubt it. All right then, all right then. George is on the line from Sakaman. And let me tell you about the Vodafone Bossu offer, which just got bigger. Aside the Bossu weekend offer, Vodafone has taken another boss step, introducing the Bossu daily offer. The Bossu of all daily offers. Sign up to the Vodafone Bossu daily offer for two Ghana cities and enjoy 100 minutes for calls to all networks, plus 100 megabytes valid for 24 hours. Yes, it's real, Pam. Just dial star 5588 hash now to subscribe to the Bossu daily offer and spend your day like a boss. My last, my last caller, pardon me, is Isaac James from Abokobi. Good morning, Isaac. Good morning, Didi. How are you? I am blessed. Why are you laughing? <laughs> no, this black stars. Anyway, um, I want all Ghanaians to support them, but not with our hearts as we used to do in the, informally because, you know, you can be heartbroken. So let's support them, pray for them, and hope for the best for them because when win is also for us, but not with our full, whole, whole heart. Thank you very much. I see why you're laughing. You make the black star sound like an unfaithful lover. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Thank you very much. Unfortunately, that's the last uh, phone call that we can take. I'm going to give 30 seconds to guys to wrap up. Yeah, uh, we're looking forward to a great tournament. And many thanks to everybody who's joined us in that build up so far. The Joafcon podcast and everything else, we hope to to deliver on our promise as well. Um, not just on radio, but on television and on social media. Let's keep the conversation going on and offline. Of course. Thank you very much, Gary L. Smith, for joining us.